boys and girls of grade 5, and welcome to another English language lesson. I trust that you all are eager to learn something new. I'm your teacher, Miss Melissa, and I hope today we will have an enjoyable time together. So, boys and girls, in our recently past lessons, we have been examining the various verb tenses. In our last lesson, we looked at the formation of the present participle. Do you remember what that is? Well, yes, it is the ing form of the verb. For example, the present participle of cook is cooking. Yes, and the present participle of study, which is something that you ought to be doing, is studying. The present participle then helped us to form the present continuous tense. In order to continue from where we left off, today we will be looking at the past and future continuous tenses. So, without any delay, let's get into it. So, what is this past continuous tense? Now, Past continuous tense refers to an action that was in progress or that was going on over a period of time in the past. Let's see. I was reading. That tells us that at some point in time in the past, I was reading for an extended period, whether it be 5 minutes, 20 minutes, or an hour. If we say, they were dancing, that sentence and using the tense were dancing, it indicates that the action of dancing was taking place at some point in time in the past. However, it had stopped. So, how do we form the past continuous tense? If you remember, in our last lesson, when we were looking at the present continuous tense, we used a helping verb or auxiliary verb and we used the present participle. Now here, we still make use of the present participle, but we change the helping or auxiliary verb. So, when we're forming the past continuous tense, we use was and were. We use was and were, accompanied by the ing form of the verb. I would like for you to repeat that with me. When forming the past continuous tense, we use was and were and the present participle. Good. So, when do we use was? And when do we use were? Now, if you remember, was refers to a singular verb. And so, we will use was when our subject is singular. Were is a plural verb. And therefore, we will need to use were when we're referring to plural subjects. So, remember, when we're using our helping verbs, was and were, we must take into consideration the subject. So, we might say, I was skipping. And then, we might even say, he was skipping. Or, she was skipping. Or, it was skipping. But, further, if we're using you, we will say, you were skipping and we would say we were skipping and they were skipping. If we look at the subject pronouns there, I, he, she and it, they refer to singular pronouns. However, you which sometimes can be plural and we with they are plural pronouns. So, Let's take a closer look at another example. 
Let's say we have, Can was fixing the wheel when the customer arrived. Now, what verbs or what words within that sentence make up the past continuous tense? Well, definitely was, and then we see the ing form of a verb, fixing. So, was fixing is the past continuous tense in that sentence. What this tense tell us is that at some point in the past, can was engaging in the fixing of the wheel. However, presently, it is no longer in motion. However, fixing tells us that that action was ongoing for a period of time. As you can see also, can is a singular subject. And so we use was instead of were. However, if we say yesterday, John and I were going to dance class together. The subjects of that sentence are John and I. So definitely, we cannot use the helping verb was, but we make use of the helping verb were. Also, with the present participle of go, which is going. Therefore, the past continuous tense in that sentence is were going. Do you think you can try some exercises now? Well, let's make an attempt. In this exercise, we will form the past continuous tense of the verb to complete each of the sentence. Remember, the verb will be in brackets. So let's take a look at number one. It says, it something earlier today. Our verb in brackets is rain. Now remember, for us to form the past continuous tense, we need the helping verbs, was and were, and we need the ing form of the verb or the present participle. So simply, let's form the present participle of rain. Yes, I know you'll get that. It is raining. Now we need to insert our helping verb. Do you think we'll use was or were? Given that our subject is singular, since it is just it, we will use was. So the answer for this sentence is, it was raining earlier today. Let's go on. Uncle John, something, a surprise party for his son. Now, we have the verb in brackets, plan. We need to form the present participle of plan and also insert our helping verb. Now, the present participle of plan is planning. However, we must take note of the spelling, which would be P-L-A-N-N-I-N-G. Now let's take a look at the subject. It is Uncle John. That is just one person. So which helping verb would you use, boys and girls? Yes, we would have to use was. So our sentence would read, Uncle John was planning a surprise party for his son. So, I think you're getting the hang of past continuous tense. So, you'll try these two on your own. You're forming the past continuous tense of the verbs in brackets. Your first sentence is, the cat something comfortably after the surgeries at the veterinary clinic. Your verb is rest. And next, the store clerk something, a delivery of new stock from the warehouse. Your verb is 
expect. You have 30 seconds to complete those two sentences. Check those answers. The first one says the cats. So I'm sure you chose the helping verb were. The present participle of rest is resting. R E S T I N G. So give yourselves a big tick if you have the cats were resting comfortably after the surgeries at the veterinary clinic. Good. The next sentence reads, the store clerk, which is only a singular subject. So we'll use the helping verb, was. The present participle of expect is expecting. E-X-P-E-C-T-I-N-G. I'm so proud of you if you have the store clerk was expecting a delivery of new stock from the warehouse. Good job so far. But remember, today we're not only looking at the past continuous tense, we're also looking at the future continuous tense. Now this is simple, just like the others. So let's look at what is the future continuous tense. Now, the future continuous tense, sometimes also referred to as the future progressive tense, is a verb tense that indicates that something will occur in the future and continue for an expected length of time. So what this means, that the action is not occurring now, the action has not occurred in the past, but the action will occur maybe tomorrow, next year, next two months, over an extended period. So if we say, Michael will be running a marathon this Saturday. Michael is not running the marathon now. He has not run that marathon as yet. However, on Saturday, he will. And remember, marathons are long runs, and so it will occur over an extended period of time. So let's take a closer look at how we form this tense. This tense is formed by using helping verbs again, but this time we use will or shall plus the word be and or present participle. Let me go that again. We use will or shall plus the word be and or present participle. However, it must be noted that will be is more commonly used when forming the future continuous tense. So we will not make use of shall be, but we'll use will be. Here, we don't have to worry if the subject is plural or singular. Will be works for any subject. So we can say, Errol will be going to Canada next year. And we can even say, the families will be going to Canada next year. So, remember, will, be, and the present participle. So let's look at an exercise. Here, we will form the future continuous tense of the verbs in brackets. Number one, 
the excited children something, an art camp during the holidays. Our verb in brackets is attend. Now, we don't have to focus on the subject. We need the word will, be, and the present participle of attend, which would simply be attending. Therefore, our sentence would read, the excited children will be attending an art camp during the holidays. Number two, Latoya something in a football tournament in July. Our verb in brackets is participate. We need will, be, and the present participle of participate, which would be participating. However, I must note the spelling. P-A-R-T-I-C-I-P-A-T-I-N-G. We need to drop the last E in that word. So our sentence would read, Latoya will be participating in a football tournament in July. Now, boys and girls, since you seem to be getting the hang of future continuous tense, let me give you 30 seconds to do these two sentences on your own. The Henry family, something a movie night on Thursdays. Our verb is have. And the next one is the officials from the Ministry of Health, something all citizens within Guyana. Our verb is vaccinate. check in with those answers. We should have the Henry family will be having a movie night on Thursdays. Hmm, give yourself a star if you have that. And the other, the officials from the Ministry of Health will be vaccinating all citizens within Guyana. So boys and girls, since we have looked at the present continuous tense, the past continuous tense, and the future continuous tense, I think it would be helpful for us to review those tenses collectively. So what we will do is by looking at this exercise, we will complete the sentences using the tense of verb indicated at the end of each sentence. So let's take a look at number one. It reads, the lion something the rabbit, so it ran in the forest. We need to form the past continuous tense of the verb chase. Now if we remember, the past continuous tense is formed by using was and were and our present participle. So our answer would be the lions were chasing the rabbit so it ran in the forest. Next one, my plants something rapidly. We need to form the present continuous tense of the verb grow. How do we form that tense again? Well, let me remind you. We need is, or, are, or, am, and the present participle. Evidently, boys and girls, our subject is plural, the plants. So we will need to use are, and the present participle of grow is growing. So our sentence would read, my plants 
are growing rapidly. If we have the trucks something garbage this weekend, we need to form the future continuous tense of collect. As you remember, to form the future continuous tense, we will need will, be, and the present participle of collect. Therefore, our sentence would read, the trucks will be collecting garbage this weekend. So boys and girls, I hope you totally understand the progressive or continuous tense. But let me remind you about these tenses. Remember that the present participle is the ing form of a verb. They are used to form the continuous or progressive tense. The present continuous tense is used to refer to an action that is in progress at the present time, whether it is going on right now or over a period of time. The present continuous tense is formed by using am, is, or are with the present participle of the verb. Or we have the past continuous tense, which tells us of an action that was in progress or that was going on over an extended time in the past. It is formed by using was or were with the present participle. For example, it was raining earlier today. And finally, the future continuous tense, sometimes also called the future progressive tense, is a verb tense that indicates that something will occur in the future over an extended period of time. We form this tense by using will or shall and the word be with the present participle of the verb. For example, Grandmother Merrill will be attending my graduation ceremony next year. So boys and girls of grade five, we have been learning so much about verb tenses in our past lessons. I hope you are now better equipped with the knowledge needed to use your tenses correctly. In this lesson, we learned all that there is to know about present, past, and future continuous tenses. However, in our next lesson, we will be looking at the perfect tense. But for the formation of that tense, we won't need the present participle, but we will need the past participle. So I would want for you to beat me to the punch by learning various past participles of verbs for our next class. Until then, do keep those brains active as we strive to learn new things every day. Stay safe, pupils, until our next lesson.